Whether you're a dual sheath Redux user or a mod author, I'm here to help you learn how to make your own DSR patches. Let's first learn the basics with swords. Before you can begin, you'll need to download a free program called Nifscope, and I'll provide a link in the video description below. Let's get started. When making a dual sheath Redux patch for a weapon, how many steps it takes depends on whether your weapon is symmetrical or asymmetrical. We're going to start by learning how to create mesh packs for symmetrical weapons first, and then I'll demonstrate asymmetrical versions as well. I will be using the mod Lost Long Swords from the Nexus as an example. I get requests for patches for this mod more than any other mod, but the mod author hasn't been around for two years, and I need his permission. So because I can't get permission, I'll just show you how to do it yourself. Let's go to the Lost Long Swords mod page and download the mod manually. Once downloaded, I'm going to use a program like 7-Zip, or as some of you may prefer WinRAR, and extract the contents of the mod. After extraction, you'll see three different files. The only one we need to worry about is the Lost Long Swords BSA. Not all authors use BSAs to stuff their meshes and textures in, so at this point, you may see the meshes folder directly if it's a different mod. In this case, we're going to need a BSA browser, and I'll link one in the video description below. Once installed, you'll right-click and select Open With, and choose the BSA browser. Likewise, you could open up the BSA browser separately and find the BSA to open manually. In the BSA browser, click on the gray little arrow to expand the contents of the BSA. It should now show textures and meshes. Select meshes to exclude all the textures. Now highlight all the meshes with your mouse or hit Ctrl A and hit the extract button. With the meshes extracted, exit out of the BSA browser. Open up the meshes folder and go into the weapons folder. Here you'll see the meshes for each new type of weapon this mod adds from Daedric to Stormcloak. Let's go into the Daedric and double click on the NIF file to open it up with NIFScope. Once in NIFScope, click on the gray arrow to expand the contents next to the zero BS Spade node. We will be focusing on the NI string extra data and below. For NI string extra data, select Weapon Sword. You should then see block details down below change. Go down below and click on the tiny black TXT next to Weapon Sword. A new little window should pop up and you need to make sure it says Weapon Sword Left. If it says something else in another mod, delete it and rewrite Weapon Sword Left. Select OK. The next item we need to look for is SCB, which is referring to the weapon's scabbard or sheath. Not all weapons have this, and if a weapon does not come with an SCB, don't worry about it, and move on to the next part. Much like with the NI string extra data, the NI tri shape for SCB will change what shows in the block details down below, once highlighted. Select the little black TXT next to SCB to bring up another little window, like before. Make sure it says SCB left, and select OK. Since we have a symmetrical blade we're working with, we are now finished making the sword ready for dual sheath redux. Hit file, save as, and no matter what the weapon name you see says, just add left at the end and hit save. In this case, it should say Daedric underscore lost long sword left. So now that the sword is ready, we need to prepare the left sheath without the sword. If we don't do this, your sheath will simply disappear from your hip or back once you've drawn the weapon in game. Back in the Daedric Lost Longsword Left.nif, we now need to get rid of the sword and other NI tri shapes so that all that we're left with is the sheath. Start highlighting, and once you've selected something to delete, hit Control Delete. Once you've deleted everything but the sheath, we are now ready to save it. Go to File and hit Save As. Instead of Daedric underscore longsword ending in left, we are going to change it to sheath. So the new file is called Daedric underscore lost longsword sheath. Now we can go into the original Daedric folder and delete the original file. We don't want our patch to overwrite any original files when we install it with a mod manager later. One down and 11 more to go in this mod. I'm not going to go over every single one, but I will go ahead and show you another one quickly. I just want you to watch carefully this time without my voice guiding you through it.
Now that you've seen a second example, I trust you'll know how to do this process for symmetrical weapons. Let's move on to asymmetrical swords. This process is almost identical with only a couple extra steps. Asymmetrical weapons need to be flipped by 180 degrees or else they'll show up in the game upside down. Go to the Orcish folder and open up the NIF there. Start patching it as if you would any other sword. Start with NI string extra data and then the SCB. Now we need to start flipping the NI tri shapes by 180 degrees. I usually start at the bottom and work my way up. In this case, select the NI tri shape called First Person Orc Sword. In the block details below, scroll down a bit until you see the translation and then rotation right under it. To the right of those, you should see X, Y, and Z, and then under that, Y, P, and R. Focus on rotation for now and double click on the P value. It may put you by default in the Y value, but you'll want to be in the P value. In the P value, write in 180 and hit enter. You'll notice the blade flipped by 180 degrees in the preview image in the top right. It looks a little off because we need to flip everything else as well, so let's go ahead and do that. Flip the scabbard and the edge blood. In other mods, there may be some glow maps and you'll need to flip those as well so that they show up properly in game. Before we move on, in other mods, you may run into something a little different under translation and rotation. I'm going to use a vanilla Daedric sword as an example. It's asymmetrical and it definitely needs flipping. Under translation though, you'll see negative and positive values for the X and Z axes. Ignore the Y axis, you won't need to worry about that one. If you ever run into this, you'll need to switch the positive and negative values for the X and Z axes. In other words, if it has a negative, change it to a positive, and if it has a positive, change it to a negative. The numbers themselves stay the same. You'll need to do this in addition to flipping the 180 degrees under P rotation. You'll need to do this for any other NI tri shape if necessary. Back to the Orcish Longswords though. Once everything is flipped by 180 degrees, you can save as and do the usual Orcish underscore Lost Longsword left, like before, and then proceed to create your sheath version just like we did with the symmetrical weapons. Assuming you've finished making patches for your weapons, let's get it ready for installation. Using whatever method you like, compress the folder full of patches. Make sure the patches are in the original folder structure so that they install properly in your data folder. Go into your mod manager and manually add the file to your mod list. Just like any other mod, double click and install it. It may show up under the unassigned category at first, but you can move it later to the patches section on your own. The final step is to delete your old dual sheath redux patch.esp and make a fresh one in your data folder. You have now successfully created and installed your dual sheath redux patch. Special thanks to Neo Valen, the author of Dual Sheath Redux, for his written guide and William's helpful added notes as well. Check the playlist soon for more guides for other weapon types, staves, and shields as well. I'm Slothability, aka DP the Sloth King on the Nexus, and thanks for watching.